The SDI helps us go deeper in our understanding of behavior by taking a look at motivation or purpose. If behavior is what we're doing, motivation is why we're doing it. Knowing the motivation behind behavior is the key to understanding yourself and others. When you know what's important to people, you can more accurately interpret their actions and words and choose better approaches in your communication. Think of behavior like a buoy floating on the water. The buoy appears to float on its own, rising with the waves, moving with the current, but we all know that the buoy is connected to an anchor. That anchor is like your motivation or your core values. Behavior, like a buoy, can move around based on the environment. Instead of the tide and current, your behavior may shift based on who you're with, where you are, or what you're doing. Your behavioral buoy may have one location at work, but a different location at home. Meanwhile, the anchor, your motivational values, are more consistent. When faced with conflict or opposition, we may behave differently. That's because conflict causes something inside of us to change. We feel different. We want different things. We have different motives. And these different motivations result in different behaviors during conflict situations. Have you ever noticed that when conflict starts, some people want immediate action? Some want to think about it. And others just want everyone to get along. Many training and development efforts focus on improving on weaknesses. Relationship awareness recognizes that a weakness can be nothing more than a strength taken to excess or misused. For example, let's say you appreciate that I'm flexible, yet there may be times that my flexibility prevents me from making a decision and that frustrates you. Conversely, I could be principled, which is a good thing until those principles get misapplied to an insignificant issue, and you might describe me as rigid, unbending, or inflexible. A lot of the conflict we experience comes from different perceptions of strengths. If I think I'm flexible, and you think I can never make a decision, we've just found the door to conflict. Whether we walk through it or not is a decision we can make more effectively with the insights gained from the SDI. We all see things in different ways. We filter and interpret what we see, feel, and hear. It's like we're all looking through different colored sunglasses. Let's pretend these red sunglasses represent the filter of my motivational values. And that these blue or green ones represent your filter. It's easy to understand how we will see things differently and perhaps draw different conclusions about what we see because we are filtering the information differently. The SDI helps us to understand not only our own filters but the filters of other people and it makes it easier to look at things through another person's eyes. Part of what makes the SDI so memorable for people is the use of color. In fact, the SDI was the first self-assessment to use colors as shortcut names for inventory results. The use of blue, red, and green helps people easily remember their results and provides a common and neutral language for conversations that might otherwise be difficult. Each individual's result is displayed as an arrow on the triangle, with the dot representing motivational values and the arrowhead representing the changes in motivation during conflict. When several individual results are displayed on the same triangle, we begin to see a picture of the group dynamic, both when things are going well and in conflict. Because the SDI is based on a theory of relationships and motivation, not just on behavior or individual preferences, it is most effective in situations where relationships matter, such as building stronger teams, developing more effective leaders, managing conflict, improving influence or communication skills, any environment where people work together. How can improved relationships impact your organization? What if you could speak the motivational languages of other people? How would your relationships be different if you had the instruction manual?